Hello from Charlotte, Charlotte, North Carolina. My wife just got a job here and so we've moved here and uh, this is our new place. I'm actually at the business center at a conference room. So today I wanted to discuss meeting other translators. When you're a translator, you kind of need to be in the world of translation. And a lot of it has to do with, you know, going online and obviously dealing with translations themselves, watching these videos. And so you get ideas of how other translators handle issues and problems they might have. But I think an essential part of being a translator is also meeting other translators, talking to them, being surrounded by them face to face. Let's face it, most of you probably have friends who work in an office, who work nine to five, and maybe you still do too, and you, but you'd like to become a translator. And it's gonna be very hard to understand it really and to get that point of view if you don't talk to other people who work for themselves, who are freelancers, who are entrepreneurs, but more specifically, ideally, who are also freelance translators. I mentioned this because I just moved here, but you know, we moved here a few days ago, and so I'm trying to get in contact with other people, people like myself or potential clients, et cetera, just trying to, you know, do the whole networking thing. So I just wanted to give some tips and tidbits, basically let you know what I've been doing, and you know, maybe you have ideas of how this could be taken further and I'm all ears if you do because I just moved here. So, you know, I'm trying to enter into the world and figure it out. So my first recommendation would be to join a meetup. You can basically go to meetup.com and they have meetups. They have them in every city around the world. And chances are you can find a meetup for entrepreneurs, for freelancers, for something along those lines in your city. By the way, it doesn't have to be meetup.com. Another big one is internations. If you go to internations.org, I think they also tend to have the same type of meetups. It has a bit of a different feel. I think internations is more top down. And so it tends to be more organized, but also a bit more hierarchical while meetup.com can be set up by anyone and organized by anyone so you get a bit of everything. My first step would be to go to one of these websites or other similar ones and try to find groups of people who are, once again, freelancers, entrepreneurs, ideally freelance translators if they have those, and then join these so you can meet other people. Usually most of these meetups tend to be after work hours, you know, over dinner or a drink, very casual, and so it's a great place to meet other people and to meet up and to network. The second one will be to search for groups online. Every city and every country and every region is different. And like I said, there might be other groups that are just purely in your region, in your area. So I would look up, if you live in a certain city, say you live in Budapest, search freelancers Budapest, freelance translators Budapest, translators Budapest, entrepreneurs Budapest. If you just move there from somewhere else, then probably English will always be a lingua franca, but otherwise try to search for these specific groups in your specific area. Just do a Google search and see what pops up because you never know. Another method and one that I've found myself doing more and more as I go to new cities is to find a local chamber of commerce. Usually you can find the city's chamber of commerce and or region chamber of commerce or something along those lines. Find events. Usually they have events open also to non-members. I would look into joining these. Now I like these a lot because this is where I can find potential clients. These tend to be, let's say, it's a step up in professionalism and formality from the meetup groups. However, obviously you also find entrepreneurs and freelancers and the ones who you, you find tend to be a bit more you know already on the road to success let's say while in the meetups and and internations you'll find people in your same shoes who are trying to start out when you go to these sessions they usually find people who can be possibly your mentors you know help you out show you the way give you some tidbits some tricks into entering this lifestyle in this city you are in or in the industry you're in. I know that's what I look forward to. When I start, started joining these chambers of commerce, I realized that I could get very different advice and recommendations from these people as compared to the meetups. Another type of association you can join is one dealing with the language you translate in. Now say you just moved to Budapest, but you do, I don't know, Swedish to Hungarian translations then you should also be joining the Swedish Chamber of Commerce or in the Swedish Association of Budapest or something along those lines. Like I'm here in the States and I'm going to be with, you know, my specific languages. And so obviously if I'm dealing with Italian and English, I'm going to look into the Italian Chamber of Commerce, the Swiss Chamber of Commerce. I, I remember Atlanta, they had a Swiss American Association and an Italian Association. Take your specific languages and the countries that they come from and then, or any country associated with that language and try to join these groups because you'll find people 
you know, obviously, if, they, if they're from one language and they happen to reside in the country of another one, there's going to be translation going on back and forth there. So that can definitely help you out in that sense. And another type of association to look for is the one in your specialization. If you have a specialization, if it's legal or if it's um, financial, you know, marketing, then try to see what's going on in that realm. Now, say you are dealing with uh, legal translations and find some legal association you can go meet them up and i know i've mentioned this before because it, it becomes more interesting for them because they're meeting lawyers you know at all these industry events and suddenly they meet someone who's not a lawyer and so you're going to stick out in their mind and so it can be very interesting there to meet prospective clients and possibly also to get your first client and last but not least if You've gone through all of these and you can, you still cannot find something that suits you between the meetups and the internations and the, the associations, the chambers of commerce, the different countries and languages involved. If the region you are in doesn't have anything along these lines, then actually nothing really stops you from setting one up yourself. So you can easily go to, well, meetup.com or internations or any one of these places and just set up a group or even just go to Facebook, say, hey, this is for translators or freelance translators or freelancers in this region, in this area, in this city. At the beginning, there might be two people, in which case two of you can grab a drink and talk. But chances are things like this will grow. Something like this happened when I was in, um, when I first went to Taiwan, I was looking for an entre entrepreneurship meetup for people, foreigners in Taipei, who are entrepreneurs and wanted to meet other like-minded entrepreneurs. At the time, there was nothing. I decided to join this other guy, you know, we just met who was interested in doing the same thing. We're like, hey, why don't we set something like this up? You know, probably no one will show up, in which case we'll just grab a beer and, you know, hang out and talk. We ended up getting 3,000 members. In fact, later we, you know, we kind of handed off the reins. Now I moved, so it still exists, but other people are taking care of it. So anyway, it's just to say that if you don't find something of what you're looking for, chances are there are other people looking for the same thing. So hopefully that helps out because I do think while it's invaluable to get as much information as you can, and you can get all types of information now basically online, you know, joining the forums and the websites and watching the videos, etc. It also always helps to meet people face to face, to meet other people like you, so you can compare notes, urge each other on and help each other out with all the issues that might pop up. And uh, please don't forget to click like and don't for forget to subscribe and you'll get more videos like this dealing with freelancing, helping out with freelance translation. So anyway, I'll talk to you next time. Thanks. Bye.